Serenity Towers back in courts before environmental judge Patrick Dandridge. We're moving toward making sure this is a suitable place for uh, our elderly people with comprise most of the tenants. And the new court date exposes a renewed danger for the 244 people living in the high rise. The court was already aware of air conditioning problems, the lack of hot water and elevators being out. Well, those issues remain. And in court, it was announced the Memphis Fire Department had to carry down a resident during an emergency call because there were no working elevators in one of the towers. Council telling Judge Dandridge payment issues are being resolved and all four elevators should be up and running in a matter of days. It's great news on your report that the elevators will be working by the end of the week. Um, now, of course, there's a history. But it wasn't all good news as the newly appointed special master, someone to investigate certain claims, announced a disturbing discovery. Uh, human waste in common areas, and that's something that, that is totally unacceptable to any uh, dwelling of any kind. We asked Serenity's new attorney, Alex Elder, about the issues at hand. I don't have to contact the company. I represent them. They're my client. But who is reacting are those like Brenda Lauderdale, who have friends at Serenity. Well, this stuff been happening. It's been happening way before now. And it just got out of hand. And they still act like they don't care. Reporting in downtown Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. The special master says he plans to meet with everyone connected to that high rise later this week. The case will be back in court October 31st, which means so will we.